We missed you at the Variety yeah, Show this year. It, yeah. uh, they, um, last year, Frank uh, was a master of ceremonies for John Wayne's tribute. So last what night... a big fella. Yeah, the doll. Uh, but um, Cheryl Ladd told me last night that she got Charlie's Angels off having shown her pilot that we did with her on Police Woman for, um, for that. So that was last year's. Yeah. But it's a long grind. Yeah. Remember when we made the picture together? That's a long time oh, ago. Oh, yeah, I love We made a film together called uh, Ocean's Eleven, which we did in Las Vegas. Right there. And uh, that's when you were on the other side of the law. <laughs> the other, outside I, the law. I was married to you. <laughs> that was that's... a fun movie to make, you know that? Yes. You know was that... I? I was Beatrice, I yeah, think. I, you know, yeah, I don't remember your name, but, but uh, we were married. In the we were married. <laughs> We never saw much of each other in the, in, the, in the roles itself. You ran out on me. I Absolutely. don't really remember. Well, I've been known to do things like that, you know. <laughs> but, you know, after that picture was out for, for several months, even today, once in a while, I'll run into someone somewhere, and they will say to me, couldn't you guys have kept $5,000 out of that, sort of burning it all in the, in the oh. casket? I said, you can't do that. It we is one to... of the great endings of any picture. I went to uh, Italy shortly after that, about a year later, and it was called Col Colpo Grosso yeah. over there. And they'd point to me, and they wouldn't say, Angie, this is Colpo Grosso. Yeah. And uh, although I was in it so very little because it was all of the men doing the, the uh, robbery. But what fun. The m most fun for me aside from being your wife in a film, was that in the daytime we would shoot, and at night, Yeah, you, we were working at the, at the Sands Martin, Hotel, the yeah, four of us on stage, two shows a night, and, it, and shooting all day long. Yeah, they were... I, did you sleep at all? Hmm, when we were standing up from time to time, we got a few naps, you know. But it was so we much... We had a festival every evening, too, with the, with, the, with the wine and all that stuff was floating around the place. It was great fun. It was a, it was a marvelous film. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, uh, one of the interesting things about the ending that you mentioned was that Millie Milestone, Louis Milestone, who directed that film for us, uh, came up with the idea for the ending. He, be yes, because he went to, uh, uh, I'm not trying to be morbid, but for a minute, let me just say that he went to the funeral of Bora Minovich. And in the temple, they have a, the, the crematorium was tied in with the temple. And, uh, in, and uh, consequently, in our picture, when, when the boys began looking at each other, wondering what the noise was in the background, it was the, uh, the incinerator, actually, is what it was. And I said to him, what do you, how do you figure that? He said, well, I saw that happen once. And we were shocked because we said, well, uh, while the rabbi was was doing the, uh, for all the prayers, you know, they could hear this noise. Consequently, we put it in the picture, which was a marvelous switch. But the, the, we, we, we buried the money in the casket with, the, with the other cat, with Nicky Conti. And you know, God bless him. Yeah. And the looks, though, from one to the other down the line, all of you realizing what was happening is just wonderful. Then we came back up the aisle the other way. <laughs> I forgot came that. The funny, everybody said, they're burning the casket. Oh. <laughs> Uh, it was fun making that Oh, picture. it sure was. It was a great time. Well, maybe one day you and I could be cops in a movie. Yeah. Mm. Where did you keep your badge when you did Cherry Street? Or your gun, I mean. My gun? And your Fargo. That's always my problem. Uh, excuse me one minute. We'll be right back. I want to discuss this for a minute.